YouTube, what is going on? Rich here and welcome back to another episode of Revisiting Legends here on FM Scout. Now today, again, we're going to be looking at another legend of the game and this is going to be a legend that is a real blast from the past. Today, we're going to be looking at Preston North End's Tom Finney. Now, Tom Finney played for Preston North End his whole life from 1946 to 1960 so his full footballing career he played for Preston North End he made 433 appearances for Preston scoring 187 goals now as you can see Tom Finney likes to play out on the wing so 187 goals in 433 appearances is really really good he also made 76 appearances for England scoring 30 goals as well so an absolute legend of the game now, as you can see, when he starts off in the Legends database, which I will leave a link to down below, he is 23 years old already. So we are going to nail today's experiment in one sitting. We are going to do his full career in one episode because I suspect that he'll only play for about 15 years or something like that. So in the game at 23 years old, he's currently valued at £53 million earning £92,000 a week until 2021. So he's got a good uh, six years left on his contract. But he plays for Preston North End. Now Preston North End in the Legends database are in the Skybet Championship. So a player of his quality, so he's dribbling, 18, 16 finishing, 18 first touch, 19 technique. His mentals are absolutely superb. I can't see him staying in the championship very long at all. So in this experiment, I don't think he's going to play for Preston North End right the way through. Unless they get promoted, I don't know. We will just have to see. But for the first time in his footballing career, Tom Finney could move on to another team. So what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to advance two years on into this experiment. So Tom Finney will have been a professional footballer in this database for two years. We'll see how he's getting on and we'll see if he's still at Preston North End. Okay guys, so it's now the 31st of May 2017. We're going to advance on in this experiment and let's have a look at how Tom Finney is doing. Now he is still at Preston North End. So his crossing uh, is still pretty good at 16. His dribbling is now 19. His first touch is pretty good as well at 18. His technique is now 20, so absolutely maxed out. He is a quality player. Now let's have a look at Preston North End. They're still in the Skybet Championship, so I'm pretty surprised, to be honest, that Tom Finney is still there. He's worth £53 million. He's still got that contract up until 2021. And now he's made 20 appearances for the English national team and he scored four goals. He's described in the media as a world-class winger. I really can't see him staying at Preston North End. No offence to Preston fans, but I can't see it. I can't see him staying in the championship. Now let's have a look at his history. He's now made. He, he's played 39 games in his first season in football in the championship, and he scored 27 goals and he got 14 assists, 7.42 average rating. In season two, he made 38 appearances, so one less than the season before. But he did score four more goals. He hit the th over the 30 mark. 12 assists. Play, three player of the matches and a 7.41 average rating. Now, I don't know if he's had any, he's not had any injuries or anything like that. So, so far, his career stats are looking really, really good. So, I think what we'll do now is we'll get advance another three years, get to the end of season five, and see what's going on with Tom Finney. Okay, guys, five years on, 31st of May 2020. Tom Finney has been a professional footballer. For five years, Tom Finney has moved. He's now gone to Barcelona. Wow, what a move that is for him. Not only has he moved out of the championship, he's moved to one of the best clubs in the world. Still valued at 53 million on £250,000 per week for another two years at Barcelona. He's got 50 caps for England and he scored 15 goals. Let's have a look at when he went to Barcelona and how much he went for. He spent an, oh he spent half a season at Preston North End. So his third season, he went up until January, played 18 games, scored 10 goals, 5 assists. He then moved 
to Barcelona for £63 million. Unbelievable. And he played an extra 13 games that season, getting three goals in his first term at Barcelona. Five assists, one player of the match, 8.05 average rating. He then went on in season 18-19 and he made 38 appearances. I think that's every single game in La Liga. Scoring 12 goals, getting 5 assists and 2 player of the matches, 7.80 average rating. He missed a game in the most recent season, making 37 appearances, but he did get himself 16 goals for the team from the new Camp and he's got a 7.86 average rating. He's made 12 continental appearances as well, scoring two goals, four cup appearances. Overall that season, 53 appearances and 18 goals in his most recent season. Um, exactly the same as the season before. So if you look at 18-19, 53 appearances, 18 goals, 7.73. 53 appearances, 18 goals, 7.68. Not quite as good on the average rating for this season. So what we'll do now is we will advance another five years. We'll get to the stage where Tom Finney is 33 years old. Will he get his contract extended at Barcelona or will he move on to another team? Let's go and find out. Okay guys, 31st of May 2025. We're now 10 years into this experiment. Let's have a look at Tom Finney. He is still at Barcelona at the age of 33 years old. He's got another two years left on his contract. But as you can see, now that he's hit his 30s, he's now his value has dropped dramatically. Only valued at 5.25 million, but he's earning 400k a week at Barcelona. This guy is raking it in. His media description is now legendary winger. He's playing absolutely out of his skin by the look of it. His dribbling has gone down. It's gone down to 18 from 19. His first touch is the same at 18. His technique of 20 is still absolutely superb. His mental stats and his physicals are pretty much the same as what they've always been. Uh, natural fitness 18 as well at the age of 33 years old. Let's have a look at his injuries. Has he ever been injured? He's had a few, but not anything major. Thigh strain, gashed head, a cold, strained ankle ligaments. Three weeks is the longest that he's been out for in his career so far. So he's doing really, really well. Now, let's have a look. He's got 99 caps for the national team as well. It'd be fantastic if he could get to 100, get that golden cap for England. And he scored 36 goals as well. Let's have a look at his career stats. So since we last saw him, so one, two, three, four, five. So we last saw him, uh, was it here? This was when we last saw him. And the season after he played, again, all the games for Barcelona, scoring 13 goals. He did the same in the 21-22 season. 22-23, he made 35 appearances, missed three games, got 21 goals. That's his best return yet. And from a winger, to get 21 goals, that is absolutely fantastic. He got 18 goals in the 23-24 season, playing the maximum amount of games. And he got 17 goals and only missed one game in the 2024-25 season. He's still playing uh, in continental action. He's playing in the Champions League still for Barcelona. He didn't make any international appearances this season. Now, he might end up being stuck on those 99 caps. The season before, he played 10 times for the national team. 9 times, 10 times, 8 times, 14 times. That is the worrying factor. It looks as though his international career could be over, guys. But let's advance on another, what are we in, 2025. Let's advance on another five years into the career of Tom Finney. I think at that point he will have probably retired. But I'd like to see him move to another club as he winds down his career. Whether it will happen or not, I don't know. What I really want to happen is for him to get that 100th cap for his country. Even if it's just in a meaningless friendly, I really want him to get it. Let's wind on five years to the 31st of May 2030 and see what's happening with Tom Finney. Okay guys, 15 years now into this experiment. It's the 31st of May 2030. Tom Finney is now a coach, so he's retired. Okay. The guy has retired. He's got some really good coaching stats, actually, and he's got a National B license, but that's not what we're here to look at. Let's have a look at his history. He stayed at Barcelona for the rest of his career. 
So we finished uh, last time in, it was just here, the 24-25 season, I think it was. In 25-26, he played 26 games for Barcelona. You can see his career is really winding down now and he got 13 goals. 26-27, he only played 18 times, scoring two goals. He got one assist. He's not got any more international appearances either. 27-28, just the seven games, no goals. And 28-29, he announced his retirement from the game. Made nine appearances for Barcelona that season. Didn't score any goals, did get an assist. And he got quite, not a low average rating, but 6.97. The lowest of his career. But what a career he's had. He's played at Preston and then he's moved on to the mighty Barcelona for 63 million. Spent the rest of his career there. It's a shame he finished his international career on 99 caps. Unbelievable. Overall, as far as league appearances are concerned, 429 games, 196 goals. Which, do you know what? That really, that matches almost his actual professional football career. So in this league career, 429 games, 196 goals. In his real life career, he played 433 games and scored 187 goals. That's really strange how close that was. 101 assists, 40 player of the matches, an average career rating of 7.71. Let's have a look at his achievements. What did he win? throughout his career it wouldn't have been it would have all been in in Spanish football I would imagine but made his international debut against Lithuania and scored a goal in the same game in 2018 he finished he got a runners-up medal in the Champions League he got his first trophy in 2019 when he won La Liga he then won the Spanish Cup as well that season as well as the Spanish Super Cup he won the treble won the Spanish Cup in 2020 Finished runner-up in the Spanish Super Cup. He played for England. He, he came. They came runners-up in the European International League. I wonder if that's the... Um, I don't know what that would be because it doesn't fall on an even year. So it wouldn't have been the European Championships or anything like that. I wonder what that is. Let me know in the comments, guys. Won the Spanish Cup again in 2023. Won La Liga in 2024. Runner-up in the Champions League. Won La BBVA. BBVA again in 2025 and 2026, runner-up in the Spanish Cup, runner-up in the Champions League again, won the Super Cup in 2026 and finally to finish his career off in 2028, he won the Spanish Cup. He never won the cha Ooh, he never won the Champions League. That's a shame. That is a real shame to say that he's been at Barcelona. He never won the Champions League, which is quite sad. But he's had a fantastic career. And guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure that you do leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the FM Scout channel if you haven't done so already. Also, make sure you go and check out my YouTube channel, Rich on Twitch underscore TV. I will leave a link to the, my channel in the description down below. Until next time, guys, let me know any more legends that you would like me to have a look at. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video.